My name is Rinda Montgomery Conwell and I'd like to talk about encouraging professional development for rural teachers. A few years ago in my position as Director of School Improvement for North Central Education Service District, I began to notice a disinclination toward participating in school improvement efforts. So we began to take survey data every year. And we found a surprising few number of teachers interested in school improvement activities and even the superintendents who made decisions for district-wide involvement um, surprised us with, with low intention to, in, to be involved in the regional programs. Regionally, very few teachers want to participate, very few districts participate, and now we even have districts dropping out of services altogether for school improvement. We have a state direct access to achievement project funded by a federal grant and this website offered a data offered additional data about participation statewide so although we have pretty good number of districts across the state participating only 23 percent of rural districts statewide participate in the project and even fewer than that participate from my region the research indicated to me that rural communities have a different mindset about data and facts and how to think about things. Instead of, I'll believe it when I see it, they'll say, I'll see it when I believe it. Rural teachers also have some mixed role concepts. They don't know necessarily who they are as an educated person in a community of perhaps mostly non-educated people where those roles overlap. And very often if the rural teachers are from the outside, or if they've gone away to be educated and come back, they can be rendered as uh, socially um, without collateral for that region. Following some national standards for teaching, I'm going to suggest that one plan would be to involve teachers in a process for reflecting on practice by participating in a regional blended environment for a professional learning community. Our region has 3,700 square miles, so traveling to these events wouldn't be um, likely. It would usually happen with interactive video conferencing. There also need to be some additional different kinds of efforts in terms of my becoming involved with students and teachers and administrators in terms of a, a friendly relationship to cross over the barriers um, and, and, and develop that trust relationship. And then also getting the superintendents involved with recognition of the professional learning community. Thank you.